Okay, so we're beginning problem nine here. We divide up sine fourth into sine squared times sine squared. Then Sam, you said we have one minus. Whoop. Cosine of two x. Two x over two times one minus cosine of two x over two. So because the goal, so the, the problem says that we rewrite it so that it's cosine to the first power. And I know that sine squared reduces to these. They are called power reducing formulas. And again, they are helpful as we move forward to uh, bigger and better subjects, okay, namely calculus. So, and then, and so this step we should get two. Now we got a foil, right? So one times one is one. Two cosine of two x plus cosine squared of two x all over what? Four, because two times two is four. So I if you look here, we have, you know, if we divide this out, we have a one fourth, which is going to be just fine. We have a uh, 2 cosine of 2x over 4, which is going to be just fine. But now we've got this piece, which is problematic, right? So if I rewrite this out so that I can kind of see what terms I actually want to work with, I have a 1 over 4 minus cosine of 2x over 2, right? plus cosine squared of 2x over 4. Now, this is the part right here that's problematic for me. Um, and it's problematic because it's squared. I need it to the first power. And so what I want to do is I want to use another formula again. And in order to reduce that power, I want to use cosine squared of x is equal to 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2. See how I can make that substitution? But, Ryan, here it says that my angle is x, and I double it to get 2x. What is my angle here? 2x, so I will double it to get 4x. So I'm just going to work with this piece right here. I have a 1 plus cosine of 4x over 2. So I made my substitution, and that is all over 4 over 1. Multiply by my reciprocal. What do you have in the denominator? 8. So if we write this out now, again, I still have the 1 over 4 minus the cosine of 2x over 2 plus 1 plus cosine of 4x over 8. Right, so this is going to be 1 eighth, right? Taylor, ask the question. You see how I got the 4x? And so this cosine squared of 2x is that piece right there. And I'm dividing it by 4 over 1. So I multiply by 1 over 4 to get my 8. Now, this is, uh, I can rewrite this 1 over 4 minus cosine of 2x over 2 plus 1 over 8 plus cosine of 4x over 8. And your 1 eighth and your 1 fourth will combine to give you 3 eighths minus cosine of 2x over 2 uh, plus cosine of 4x over 8. There's a number of different ways to write it, but again, what we were asked to do was to write it to the first power, 
which we've done, and it only have cosine, which we've done. Now, this is workable. I can use this later on in calculus. The other one I can't use. It's very difficult, very difficult. So that's problem number nine. Yep. That should help you out with problem 10 then. You guys, why don't you guys give problem 10 a try? If you can't, then we'll, uh, we'll add it onto this. So right now, Samantha Stanley is working on problem 11, which says as follows. On that same assignment, <coughs> and it is... And again, starting the problem off could pose to be a little bit difficult. You'll see why I take this approach in a second. But again, understanding a little bit of a nature about the problem helps. And so I'm going to switch this to cosine squared times sine squared times cosine squared times sine squared. Uh, it, it, you'd like to say it's 1 times 1, but you would have to have plus signs in the middle, right? Yeah, so unfortunately, that does not work. Uh, but we do know this. Cosine squared is 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2. And we know that sine is 1 minus cosine of 2x over 2. Times 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2 times 1 minus cosine of 2x divided by 2. So, uh, Sam, do you see why I chose that? Why? Conjugates. Because they're conjugates, they're easy to multiply. I simply come up with 1 minus cosine squared of 2x over 2. Or over 4, excuse me. Times. One minus cosine squared, two x over four. We're far away from being done. A far away from being done. I do have to now multiply that out. Jalen and Macy, I see you guys watching. All right? I do have to foil this out. One minus two cosine squared of two x plus cosine to the fourth of 2x all over 16. So from here, you have to continue the substitution, right? From here, you have to continue to substitute like we did in the previous one for here. And here, you're going to come up with two or three more substitutions. Yeah, it is a lot of work. This problem should take up about close to a, you know, a whole page. So, But you will be a finer mathematician for having... You want me to keep going? All right. All right. Just try to control my Kel kids when they walk around. And pick up the books. I'm tired of putting books away. I'll see this problem through. Yeah, I, I'm going to write it out like that for everybody. I think that'll be more helpful.
I'm going to call this uh, expression one. I need to come back to this. So I'm going to now use my cosine squared of 2x over 8, and I'm going to simplify that. I know that that is 1 plus cosine of 4x over 2, all over 8 over 1, which is 1 over, I'm sorry, 1 plus the cosine of 4x all over 16. So that goes in there. Yep. Now, Yeah, right now. Okay, sorry for the interruptions. Here we go. So we separate uh, cosine to the fourth like that. That is then 1 plus cosine of 4x over 2 over 4 over 1 times 1 plus cosine of 4x over 2 over 4 over 1. That is 1 plus the cosine of 4x over 8 times 1 plus the cosine of 4x over 8 Now we multiply it out, 1 plus 2 cosine of 4x plus cosine squared of 4x all over 64. That's 1 over 64 plus cosine of 4x over 32 plus cosine squared of 4x over 64. We're almost done. You can see we have one squared left. It is right there. I will insert 1 plus cosine of 8x over 2 over 64 over 1. That gives me a final result of <laughs> 1 plus cosine of 8x over 128. I have these other pieces, cosine of 4x over 32, 1 over 64. And I take that, and I plug that in. Back up to our expression for there. And from there, you should be able to simplify it and work things out. Um, we'll have that complete piece. So that's where we're at. You should be able to finish it off from there.